What's up, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. There'll be a link to the Iceman's YouTube channel and to this video on Facebook. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Jeff Hardy, AEW, Tony Khan, and a little bit about Sean's View Entertainment. Nothing bad. Sean's done a pretty good job, but he just has this habit of um, seeing things on the internet blowing them out of proportion, um, jumping the gun, like he said about Jeff Hardy joining AEW. And if that's to be true, so be it. Um, I want to say this, too, about Sean. You've done a great job in your videos. I like your studio look. Um, and, you know, you've really come a long way. But about Jeff Hardy, the man has an issue. We all know that he's been involved with drugs and alcohol for many, many years, and it's created a lot of problems for him. Drug and alcohol is a huge, huge problem in the United States, and it's all around the world as well, obviously. Um, you had one of the best tag teams ever, in the WWE, uh, and then and then you came up with your issues, and you end up having to leave because you would not take, you know, rehab uh, from the WWE. So you ended up going to TNA Impact. Obviously, at that time, they didn't really do anything as far as that stuff goes, and um, you made yourself big in Impact again. And then you went to a, uh, just prior to a vengeance show or a vengeance show, you screwed up again. Impact decided, well, we got to get rid of this. And they got rid of you. And you had two other stints in the WWE. Um, but the bottom line is, you know, you need to take care of yourself. I get it. You're a high flyer. Um, you get injured. You need things to, to help uh, ease the pain. Uh, but, you know, as you get older, your body can't take the beating that it did when you were 20 years younger. And you need to worry about yourself, Jeff Hardy. And uh, Vince did the right thing. You know, he offered you rehab. You turned it down. And now, you know, like I said, I heard in a video from Sean's View Entertainment, AEW is going to take you. Now, like I said, I don't know how much truth there is to that because I haven't read that yet. But I will say this about Tony Khan of AEW. If you take Jeff Hardy and bring him in to AEW, you're not helping him at all. You need to help the individual. What does this say to young wrestlers who get hurt, do drugs, alcohol, or whatever, and get fired? They'll just say, well, I can go to another promotion and, and they'll hire me. You're not helping nobody here. And nothing against you, Tony Khan. I'm not saying that you're going to sign Jeff Hardy. But if you do, you need to send him or tell him, go to rehab for 90 days or whatever it takes, and then we'll talk again. And if you're clean, then we got something to discuss. Because it's not about professional wrestling at this point. It's about the livelihood of the person that is wrestling. And lives matter. Any lives matter. You know, I get it. Wrestling is a business. Everybody wants to make big bucks. But you know something? For You know, what do we got to lose to do this? You know, uh, honestly, uh, Tony Khan has signed Adam Cole, CM Punk, Brian Danielson, and... He's, he's got a huge roster. Let's face it. AEW's got a huge roster. 
But the problem is a lot of them are ex-WWE guys and the original AEW guys that came in, we see less of more and more every week. Uh, there's rumors that Brian Danielson's going to be Daniel um, in and Page at Winter is Coming. I'm a big Page fan. If that happens, because I would be very upset in the fact that I did re read rumors that Khan wants a Punk and Brian match. Well, guess what? You know, this isn't WWE. This is supposed to be AEW. And Hangman and Adam Page is one of the most popular guys on the AEW roster. So, I mean, if he lost at Winner's Coming, it's guys like me that may not watch Dynamite the following week. And that is part of the reason why you can't get a million viewers. Vince is the number one company in the business. And it took him many years to do it. Tony Khan, don't try to do it overnight. You've been around only three years. You know, and and here's the other thing. You got these huge stars, you got all these stars. Build up momentum towards matches. Don't have somebody come in and slap somebody on uh, dynamite on Wednesday night and put them in a match on Rampage on Friday. It, it, and th then it's all said and done. You need to build up. You got to build your storylines. So, and you know, I, I didn't think I'd ever really um, admit this. Um, two things. Hangman may have got that belt because of Kenny Omega's injuries. But if it was because of his injuries, then why didn't they give the belt to Daniel Bryant when he was, or Brian Danielson when he was face? And two, when Omega comes back, I'm hoping he comes back as a baby face because I like Kenny Omega far better than a heel, but then again, what becomes of Don Callis? But right now, I don't want to see Jeff Hardy in AEW. I think he needs to help himself and do the best he can. And Tony Khan, I'm hoping that you're behind the way I feel because it's not always going to be always about your business. It's about the individual and his health. And that's the thing I can say about Vince McMahon. You know, if you mess up with drugs or alcohol, yeah, he offers rehab. He can't force you, but he offers it. And that tells me a lot about Vince McMahon. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I I get lost in this shuffle sometimes because I watch a lot of wrestling and I I, I don't know. I, 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 I honestly don't know what to tell you. I've seen so many people like Kurt Angle get fired from WWE because he refused rehab and then TNA Impact took him the same as they did for Jeff Hardy. And to me, that wasn't helping these guys whatsoever. Both exploded in TNA Impact, became huge. But, again, they went back to their former selves and, 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 and really messed up. So, Jeff Hardy, take care of yourself. Um, hopefully, I don't see you anytime soon. If you do uh, get contacted by Tony Khan and AEW Wrestling, nothing against the video you made, Sean. Um, like I said, I like your set. Uh, but sometimes don't escalate what you read because the majority of the time, there's no truth to the content. So, peace out, everybody. Have yourself a great Sunday. And this is... 
the Iceman on Iceman's Return YouTube channel. And the links will be on my Facebook page and Iceman's Wrestling Extreme page. Please like and subscribe. Um, this is the fourth time I did this video. And, you know, I tried to cut it short. I had more content in the last thir three ones. Three of the ones I did. And, um, I don't know. We'll see. Peace out, everybody.